Imagine coming home and listening to a voicemail threatening legal action if you don't pay a debt. Now that happened to a Bennington woman who doesn't know what the caller is talking about. WOWT 6 News Mike McKnight looks into aggressive collection tactics for tonight's Fact Finders investigation. The tone of a voicemail concerns Tisha Murphy. And at this time, I'm scheduled to issue out legal documentation to your residents as well as place of employment. The nurse doesn't like the way a collections agency operates. If, if I owe it, where is it? What is it? I'm happy to pay it. Give me some details, and they've given me no details about it. She isn't alone. The same phone number left by the collections agency leads to an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. The company uses really strong intimidation tactics. Uh, uh, it would seem to to create a sense of anxiety and fear in the mind of the consumer in hopes that maybe they'll pay immediately. But not Tisha without proof she even owes anything. And you can see why she's concerned about this mysterious debt. She and her husband are trying to sell their home to move to Florida, and they're concerned about any kind of credit issues this might raise. Tisha called back to demand details, and the collections agency claims she owes $800 on a cash advance loan from eight years ago. You've not left any information who loaned her the money and what location. Right. Now, I mean, again, these guys actually come from the corporate office, so they don't give us the exact location. Calmly ignoring the intimidation, Tisha refuses to pay any debt just because a stranger says she owes it. Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. The woman is concerned the collection agent read off her social security number. Her home address is similar to the one the agent had, but he gave her an apartment number. That's another reason why she wonders if it's a scam.